You want to say hi chica hello everybody welcome back to my channel so this video is okay chico leave it leave it hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is a very exciting one as you might be able to tell i'm in a different background i actually moved to london I know it's absolutely bizarre it's crazy to say out loud it still doesn't really feel real it kind of feels like i'm in an airbnb or like i'm going home soon he's just living his best life but i do in fact live here for at least 12 months i didn't actually do a proper introduction to this video hence why i'm doing it now but this is going to be my moving vlog you will have to bear with me with this vlog because i film things on like different days there's a few days difference in between clips it was just a very overwhelming process and obviously moving is like incredibly stressful i don't think i quite realized how stressful especially when you have furniture to move but it's it's a lot but yes i just wanted to do this quick introduction before i get into the video so this kind of starts on the 3rd of january that's when we get the keys for the flat well that's when we got the keys we're obviously in the flat now there will be a flat tour coming up that will be the next video so make sure you are subscribed if you do want to see that as well as other videos kind of about renting in london i'm going to do a few tips on finding places and a few different videos so if anyone has any questions about moving to london the whole process let me know in the comments because i am planning on filming a few more videos but yeah anyway let's just get into to the moving vlog this is how packed up the van is at the moment so this is like half of my stuff i would say but this is how packed up it is so now we've got a drive to london in this van which i'm very scared about but yeah this is pretty much half of my house gone this is what the house is currently looking like very empty i still have my christmas tree just for a bit of festivity the whole kitchen still needs to be done but we're sleeping here tonight so i don't want to pack this up just yet so this is going to be a whole task tonight but yeah this is also going we're taking this tomorrow this can go to my mum's because i just do not have storage for this i need to figure out what i'm doing with this tv stand and this tv actually because this is a very old tv and we do have a new one it's kind of sad seeing it like this I am. everybody it feels like i have not seen the light for days like i am so exhausted <laughs> moving is no joke okay i would not recommend to anyone especially not moving like two and a half hours away even though that kind of probably is nothing because some people move like to literally other countries but to me two and a half hours is it's a lot got my cup of tea the final one in this house so i am currently in my house in birmingham today is like the final moving day i'm handing back the keys today so i picked up the keys to the flat in london on tuesday which i did film like some clips when i was going to pick them up chico careful i don't want you to i don't want you to stand in my tea mine and chico's last day in the house are you sad to be leaving your home me too oh, so i am currently on hold you are currently number eight in the queue. So yeah, there's currently a lot going on. I'm trying to sort out my parking permit because it is London. <laughs> you need parking permits to literally go anywhere but also i've actually sorted out my parking permit but i need to get a visitor permit because i've got people coming to do like the broadband the tv um and apparently they need permits and i'm like well how do i get a visitor permit but because i don't actually live there yet it's a whole faff <sighs> anyway it's currently thursday morning it is 8 9 23 my eyes do not work also do we like my nails i should not have got these done before moving because i don't know how they haven't come off at this point like i did not book removal vans because i don't really know i thought we could just do it ourselves and we have to be fair but it's taken a long time and it's exhausting i've got bruises all over my body my arms ache okay i've had a workout i don't normally do this it's just a lot like there's a lot going on but yeah, so plan for today is I'm going to fully empty the house. There's not much left, like the rest of the stuff that's in the house, I'm hoping, hoping to be able to fit in my car because the van has gone. My boyfriend's taking the rest of like the really big stuff, like the sofa, the mattress, the bed, the lamps, things like that in a van. So he's doing that this morning. 
so he's already in London I'm staying here because I need to clear the rest of the house I need to clean the house I need to give the keys back to my landlord and he's coming later to do an inspection anyway like I said I picked the keys up on Tuesday it was such an out of body experience like it almost didn't really feel real i was planning on doing an empty flat tour but then when i got there i was just so overwhelmed and i just had so much to do that i just i didn't so i'm just gonna do a flat tour when i get there instead when it's like it's not fully finished but it's got some furniture in now i'm hoping by the time i go there tonight my boyfriend's like put all of the furniture away so i kind of go in and it's like pretty chico my chico is chico is loving the new decoration of having no furniture in the house because he can just run wild and he absolutely loves it but yeah i can't even tell you how stressed i've been it's insane but yeah so i got to the flat on tuesday we parked up we walked to get the keys because it was like a 10 minute walk um and yeah we literally just emptied the stuff from the van and then we came back to birmingham slept in birmingham the plan was actually yesterday we were supposed to move everything in but it ended up being that it was just too late in the day and we thought we'd just sleep here for one more night and then get the rest of the stuff there today so that's what we've done yeah i'm really happy with the flat i think it's it's actually a lot bigger than I expected. So I didn't actually see this flat in real life before I went for it. My boyfriend visited the area. I already knew this area because <laughs> I already knew this area of London quite well. It's Southwest for anyone interested. I am going to do like loads of videos coming up about renting in London, how I found somewhere because I know the rental market is just like crazy and it can be really, really difficult. So I am gonna do loads of videos about that kind of in the future. We didn't actually see the flat in real life. We only did a WhatsApp tour, like a video tour. And then I also had like another video tour of it. And by this point we were running out of time because my boyfriend starts a new job in London and he's got to be in the office five days a week, literally on Monday. So I was like, we're running out of time. So we just went for it. And yeah, I'm really happy. I, I'm excited to show you around actually. It's got a garden for Chico, which is amazing for London. It was actually probably the main selling point of it, I would say, just because a garden is so important for me because I didn't ever puppy pad train Chico and he just will not get the hang of it. So I needed some sort of outdoor space for him. And I was looking at balconies and terraces and some of them were really good, but I was just finding that anywhere with an outside space was going so quickly because everyone wants the same thing. So yeah. I'm really, really happy and I will show you the flat once we get there. It is such a change. Like, I was a bit taken aback because, bear in mind, I grew up in a village, a very small village. I then moved to this area, which is Sutton Coalfield in Birmingham, which, if you don't know, is like a suburb of Birmingham, but it's like very, very small. But yeah, this area I live in, like this estate is so quiet. Like it's kind of tucked away. Like you can't really get to anywhere without a car. I mean, you could walk, it would just take you a very long time and most people would choose to drive. My job is based in London and I just feel like it's the place I need to be right now in my life. Like I've always wanted to move to London and I was like, you know what? You literally get one life. I'm 24, nearly 25. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. I was like, this is kind of my last opportunity. And I was actually supposed to move to London last um, May. So May 2022. Got a flat, got the keys, got there, changed my mind. Only me. Like, it's, it's honestly insane. Like, the flat was lovely. I might actually have some footage of that. Again, I'll probably discuss that in a video because that's a whole story time. I lost a lot of money from that. But I got to the flat and I just had this weird gut feeling and I was like, this is not right. So I literally called the estate agent after picking up the keys and I was like, I'm really sorry, but I don't want to live there. <laughs> Looking back, I'm glad I did it because I was not ready to move to London six months ago or seven months ago on my own. Like it was just too much for me. But this time around, I have made it past the first day and I haven't handed the keys back to the estate agent. So we're doing really well. But yeah, it is so strange moving to like such a big city and being around noise and being around people. Plan for today. Firstly, need to pack the kitchen up actually, um, which might take me a really long time, but I need to pack that up. I also need to pop to B&M because I need to get some dishwasher tablets for the flat because we've got a dishwasher, which is the most exciting part. I need to get some dishwasher tablets. I need to get, oh, there was something else I needed and now I can't remember. I need to clean, I need to pack, I need to take the meter readings for this place. I need to give the keys back to my landlord. I actually have a couple of items that I'm trying to sell on Facebook. Well, I'm not even selling them. I'm giving them away on Facebook Marketplace and no one wants them. So like, 
that's brilliant but yeah i will check in with you in a little bit i'm going to try and empty the house and i'm gonna do an empty house tour of this house as well chico are you excited chico's not seen the flat yet i am really nervous to be honest about chico being in the flat just because basically the flat is in like a converted house and we are on the ground floor and people walk past the house and he barks whenever he sees people walking past the house at the moment and that's not many people at all because we live in a very quiet area so i'm hoping he'll get used to like more people more noises and he'll kind of tone the barking down a little bit where have you got this chico has torn apart my santa hat Thank you so much for that. I didn't want a Santa hat anyway, do you know what I mean? I finally got through to the council to talk to them about my parking permit. They hung up on me. Literally hung up on me. He was like, sorry, the line's not good. I was like, I've literally waited an hour. An hour. I'm going to show you what the house is currently looking like. So this is currently the bedroom situation. So we literally just slept on a mattress yesterday and the mattress has gone this morning. So I've just got the duvet here and then I've got a few bits over here and then all of this on here. And then these are my wardrobes, which are pretty much fully empty. This cupboard needs to be emptied still. This is the spare room. So all I have in here are these boxes and then some little bits over here. I also have some plants that need to go. Um, in here, we've got all of the bathroom stuff. So I need to clear that. And yeah, downstairs is probably the bigger task because I have all of the kitchen stuff, which is just, oh my God, it's gonna take me so long. It's actually gonna take so long. Also, I have to try and fit everything that's left in this house in my little car and i have a very small car please just wish me luck i cannot wait for this week to be over and to just be settled and to stop the whole moving process because it's it's so long like why did i decide to get my own furniture it's so much easier getting somewhere furnished but i just find other people's furniture kind of gross like i, I don't know i just i don't know anyway guys i have messed up it is currently 4 p.m I'm supposed to hand the keys back in an hour and I have not even started cleaning. I've literally just been empty in the house and I'm honestly so stressed. So I'm going to go to London now. I think I'm just going to come back first thing tomorrow morning to get the rest of my stuff and do all of the cleaning because I'm just exhausted. Like I need to just be done today. So I'm just going to come back tomorrow even though it is a two and a half hour drive. But you know what? I don't even care at this point. I just, I, I just need to take you. If you saw my car, I don't know how it's holding this stuff, but yeah, it's insane. Okay, so it's now the next day. As you can see, I am still in the house because unfortunately, I just could not do it all yesterday. Like there was just far too much, and it just, it, it didn't fit in my car. I just underestimated it. I didn't even start cleaning. Today is legally the last day that I can have this house so i'm just gonna blitz it today pack everything else away there's really not much left now like it's mostly gonna be cleaning today but it is currently quarter to one and i have a target of half four so hopefully i can get it done i just stopped off at the shop on the way back from london because i needed something to eat this is my meal deal don't judge me i got this huge coffee because it was needed i got this yogurt pot which is kind of random but i just i wanted some and then because i thought this is going to be probably like all i eat this morning and afternoon i got this triple sandwich which i'd never normally get sausage bacon and egg that's really really not something i would normally get but i needed something that was going to fill me so oh basically long story short i'm exhausted i got to london yesterday at about eight o'clock i want to say and i forgot my camera so i couldn't film anything and when i got back obviously it was just a case of unpacking everything and then the oven for some reason tripped all the electrics in the flat so everything went off smoke alarm went off it was all just it was chaos yesterday but it's all fine this morning so yeah i'm gonna blitz the house and then i will hopefully give you an empty house tour once it's all done and then i'm ready to get the keys back i am running out of time so i'm gonna really quickly do an empty house tour because i actually haven't managed to hoover yet because my hoover 
is a battery one. It decided that it was going to lose battery and my landlord is coming in 20 minutes. But anyway, I'm gonna have to rush this. So this is the living room. So you come through the front door here um, and this is the living room area. You come through here, this is my bag. And you have like this and you have this storage cupboard, which is really good, little Harry Potter under stairs cupboard. And then you come through here and this is the kitchen. I actually did not like this kitchen when I first moved in, but it kind of grew on me. I mean, it does, it, do, it does the job. And then this is the garden out here. And then we go up the stairs. I also hate the color of the walls here. They're magnolia and there's nothing worse in this world than magnolia. So this was the double bedroom. So this was my bedroom. Um, the wardrobes in here are incredible, like huge walk-in ones. And I do not have that in the flat, which is really sad. But yeah, we've got this. And then this is the bathroom. I actually quite like this bathroom. I love the floor room. And then this was the spare room, which was my office. Really speedy, empty house tour, but I just wanted to film it before I leave because this house has been like a huge part of my life. It was my first ever place that I rented on my own. So yeah, I wanted to show it, but I need to get on with cleaning. My car is so full, you wouldn't even believe. I'm dreading getting to the other end and having to unpack all of this stuff because there's so much. Chico, where are we? Where are we? Are you a London boy now? Are you a London boy now? Guys, we are in the new flat. I can't believe that I actually made it. Honestly, like this week has been, it's been a week. It's been a week. Chico is going a little bit crazy. I feel like I have not filmed <laughs> enough this week, but when I say it's been like a stressful week, it has, Oh my gosh, next time I move, I'm hiring removals people because I was just being stingy. I didn't want to pay £500 for removals people. And I didn't think I had that much stuff, which was a huge, huge understatement. I barely finished in time on Thursday. I think it was Thursday when I had to hand the keys back to my old house. Barely finished in time. The new tenants were moving in that evening and my Hoover like just wouldn't charge in time but luckily my landlord was fine about it and they were happy to hoover when they got there because they had to like put all their furniture in anyway so they would have just like bought more muddings it was like rainy so it all worked out fine in the end although bit fuming i left my fridge freezer and my washing machine for the new tenants because i just thought i was doing a nice thing i was like they can have it saves me the hassle of having to get rid of them and then my landlord messaged me yesterday saying that the new tenants had claimed the washing machine wasn't working which it definitely was because i used it all the time and it was like three years old and he wanted me to pay to have it removed and i was like i don't think so i don't think so anyway it is currently monday this is my last day off i actually start work again tomorrow which i think will be good like it'll be good to get into a routine i suppose like this last week's just been so manic and hectic it's just been moving every single day like i haven't had a chill day really apart from like today is my first day where i have nothing to do and i'm a little bit lost my boyfriend's gone to work today so i'm just in the flat on my own but i am absolutely loving it it's so crazy living in london i am in zone two i don't know if i've said that but i think i'm actually going to do a flat tour separately from this video just because i feel like it kind of deserves a whole video and i'm not gonna do an empty tour because as you can see the furniture is all in so i'm just gonna do like a finished flat tour and yeah i'm really excited for you to see you can see the living room behind me it's not 100 percent finished but it's pretty much like there at the moment like it's enough to film a flat tour so i'm going to film that at some point this week this video will probably go out first and then i'll aim to get the flat tour up fairly soon after it's honestly so strange being in london like one thing i'm struggling to get used to is the more noise like just everyday noises like people walking past the house cars moat moat oh my gosh the amount of motorbikes in london insane and i understand why because driving in london <laughs> it's not a fun task it is not fun there's a lot of planes because obviously you've got major airports in london there's just a lot more noises um that i am getting used to slowly but surely luckily the bedroom is like fairly silent because we've got a garden that looks out onto the bedroom so it's like fine but yeah today like i said it's my first day in the flat on my own i think today's gonna be the last day of this whole moving vlog process but yeah so the plan for today was i'm gonna walk chico in a little bit because he is very 
agitated he also is trying to get used to the new noises out and about in the world which i'm hoping he's gonna get used to fairly soon because he does bark whenever someone walks past the house but he is getting better with it actually but yeah plan for today so i really want to so i've joined class pass which is like this app where you can do different gym classes because i really want to get into fitness but i'm really not good with the gym like i don't know what to do i'm much better when it comes to classes so i think i'm going to book a class on my app today or i might actually book a gym time because there's like this spa and hotel near me that has a gym and like a pool and a spa so i might even just take myself for a little spa afternoon because i feel like i need it to be honest it has it's been it's been a strange few days so yeah i put my gym clothes on in anticipation of actually doing one but whether i actually will or not is a different question because I've, I've got so much anxiety like i don't know about anyone else but i haven't been to the gym for months and months and months and the thought of going to a gym is really overwhelming for me like it's i'm, I'm such a creature of habits if i've never been somewhere before if i've never been to a gym if i've never even been to like a shop i get like incredibly anxious about going it's like the thought of it um i'm even anxious to walk chico because i don't really know the area i don't know where i'm gonna walk him it's really silly like saying it out loud because it just seems like what are you anxious for but it's just one of those things that i just struggle with like i really am such a creature of habit so anything outside of my comfort zone things that are new that i'm not used to i just get so overwhelmed so i think i might walk chico by maybe the harbor by the water because we're very close to the thames we're like a six minute walk from the water yeah it's all just really strange i think i just need to establish like new habits and kind of give myself a break like not pressure myself into doing things straight away but yeah i'm gonna take chico for a walk i'm so nervous i don't know why this is my first day like in the flat by myself and i feel like it's just getting used to everything also there's so much that goes into moving like so many things you have to organize like boring things like bills and oh it's the bane of my life but anyway i'm gonna get chico ready and then i'm gonna take him for a walk try and find somewhere that we can walk because i haven't really gone to any parks yet so it'll be good to figure out the best walking places for him so yeah wish me luck thank you guys so much for watching please do let me know if you have any questions or any kind of videos you want me to film about the whole process i will see you all in my next video bye guys